वेलकम टू डे फोर डे फोर ऑफ ए एस एम ई थर्टी वन पॉइंट थ्री अवेयरनेस कोर्स टू डेज टॉपिक इज पाइपिंग लोड्स एंड स्ट्रेसेज इन डे वन वी टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन डे टू वी टॉक अबाउट मेटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन डे थ्री वी टॉक अबाउट प्रेशर डिजाइन ऑफ पाइपिंग सो नाउ लेट इज सी वट वट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल बी हैविंग थ्री सब टॉपिक्स एज ऑलवेज टाइप्स ऑफ लोड्स stress categories allowable stresses stress intensif uh, intensification factor so these three topics will be covered under this uh, day 4 uh, topic that is piping loads and stress we'll start uh, with safety talk and once we cover the detailed explanation of these three topics we'll go through the 20 mcqs where we'll talk about the correct answer and their explanations also so this is how we are going to cover uh, today's uh, topic that is piping loads and stresses so let's welcome peter who will be going through all these explanation of these three sub topics first let's begin with safety talk hello everyone today's safety talk is about fire safety and fire extinguisher use know your exits familiarize yourself with the fire exits and emergency assembly points in your workplace in case of a fire You need to know the quickest way to safety. Keep flammables away. Keep flammable materials like paper, chemicals, or fuels away from heat sources like stoves, heaters, or open flames. This will help prevent fires from starting in the first place. Check extinguishers. Regularly inspect fire extinguishers to ensure they are in good working condition. Know where the extinguishers are located and how to use them properly. Sound the alarm if you discover a fire immediately activate the fire alarm to alert others in the area then call for help by dialing emergency services evacuate safely in case of evacuate the area calmly and quickly follow the fire safety plan and use the designated escape routes do not fight large fires if the fire is large spreading rapidly or if you are unsure how to use a fire extinguisher do not attempt to fight it your safety is the priority so focus on getting yourself and others to safety remember fire safety is everyone's responsibility stay vigilant and be prepared for any fire emergencies hello and welcome back to our 30 day beginner course on asme b31.3 today We're going to delve into an important topic, types of loads on piping systems. Understanding the various types of loads that a piping system may encounter is crucial for designing a system that can withstand different conditions and maintain its integrity. Let's explore these load types. Sustained loads, these are permanent loads that the piping system experiences during normal operation. They include the weight of the pipe itself, the fluid being transported, and any attached components like valves and fittings thermal loads temperature changes can lead to thermal expansion or contraction of the pipe this results in stresses known as thermal loads which the system must accommodate without damage occasional loads these are temporary or intermittent loads that occur during specific situations such as system startup or shutdown they can impact the piping system differently than sustained loads wind and seismic loads external forces from wind and seismic events can exert pressure on the piping system designing for these loads is essential to ensure the system stability under varying conditions vibratory loads vibrations or oscillations from machinery or equipment can affect the piping system Managing these loads is crucial to prevent fatigue and failure. Pressure loads, stresses induced by internal or external pressure on the piping can impact its design and structural integrity. Deadweight loads, the weight of insulation, cladding, and other attachments adds to the overall load on the piping system. Proper support and design considerations are needed to account for this. Settlement loads, displacement or settlement of support structures beneath the piping can introduce additional stresses. This is important to address to prevent deformation and failure. 
By understanding and analyzing these different load types, engineers can ensure that the piping system is designed to handle a wide range of conditions and maintain its safety and reliability. That concludes today's video. In our next topic, we'll explore stress categories and allowable stresses. So, stay tuned and keep learning. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. In today's session, we're going to explore a crucial topic, stress categories and allowable stresses. Understanding how different types of stresses affect piping systems and knowing the limits within which those stresses are safe is essential for proper design. Let's dive into the stress categories. Primary stress. This stress category arises directly from sustained loads on the piping system. It includes the weight of the pipe, fluid, and attached components. Primary stress is a result of the system's normal operation. Secondary stress. Secondary stress occurs due to temperature-related changes. When the pipe expands or contracts because of temperature variations, it generates secondary stress. These stresses are usually transient and occur in startup or shutdown. Occasional stress. Occasional stress comes from temporary or intermittent loads. These are non-permanent conditions, such as those experienced during system startup, shutdown, or other irregular operations. Now, let's talk about allowable stresses. Allowable stresses are the maximum permissible stress levels that materials can endure without risking structural integrity. These values depend on various factors, including the material type, temperature, and operating conditions. Engineers must ensure that the stresses in the piping system remain below these allowable limits to maintain its safety and reliability. It's important to note that understanding stress categories and allowable stresses is crucial for designing a piping system that can handle different load conditions while ensuring its longevity. That wraps up today's video. In our next topic, we'll delve into stress intensification factors. So, stay tuned and keep learning. Hello and welcome back to our 30-day beginner course on ASME B31.3. In today's session, we're going to explore a critical topic, stress intensification factors. Stress intensification factors play a crucial role in understanding how stress concentrates at specific points in a piping system. Let's dive into the details. Stress concentration. Imagine bending a paperclip, you'll notice that the stress is higher at the bends. This increase in stress at certain points, due to changes in geometry or the presence of discontinuities like welds, fittings, or changes in pipe size, is known as stress concentration. Stress intensification factor, SIF to account for stress concentration, we use a multiplier called the stress intensification factor. It's applied to the nominal stress to determine the actual stress at the point of concentration. The SIF de depends on factors like the shape, size, type of discontinuity, and material properties. Factors affecting SIF, the shape of the geometry, the size of the discontinuity, the type of stress, and even the material properties can affect the SIF. A sharp change in geometry or a sudden alteration in pipe size can lead to higher SIF. Calculation methods, stress intensification factors can be calculated using various methods, including analytical calculations based on equations and empirical approaches derived from experimental data. Understanding stress intensification factors is vital for accurately assessing the actual stress levels at critical points in a piping system. By considering these factors, engineers can ensure the design's reliability and structural integrity. That concludes today's video. In our next topic, we'll delve into welding processes used in B31.3. 
So, stay tuned and keep learning.
this was all about three subtopics under wiping loads and stresses we went through safety talk three subtopics then quiz now let's see what we are going to cover on day five day five we will be talking about welding and joinings so these will be three subtopics welding processes as per 31.3 welder qualification and welding procedures joint efficiency and impact of pressure design so we'll follow the same format we'll start uh, with safety topic on day five also then once we cover these three topics we'll go through the quiz along with 20 mcq questions with correct answer and their explanations so this is how we are going to proceed uh, for all these 30 days so thank you for watching see you in the next part